Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna answer this support question from Discord channel and it's a pretty interesting one. So there is a piece of code, I already have it in my code editor right here. I did put this URL into the Cypress config, so it's my base URL. So I don't have to do anything, just visit. So if I run this test right now, then notice an interesting thing will happen. The site loads and then this overlay pops up. And notice the overlay is not limited to the application iframe. Instead, it takes over the whole browser window and it's pretty centered, right? That means it's positioned not by accident, but it considers the whole window. Okay. Once the overlay is shown, then you cannot find the close button. Well, let's fix this. Let's close this pop-up. Okay, well, this is bad selector, right? We can all agree that this is probably not unique. But here's the thing that really complicates the test. I open DevTools and let me go to full screen. If we find this particular close button, right? let me reopen the DevTools. Okay, so notice there is iframe. The button is actually outside the iframe, which makes things simpler. But the dialog is not displayed where you think it would be, right? Notice that it's actually outside the iframe of application. All Cypress commands, like say get, say find, they operate inside the iframe where the app is. But this dialog is placed in the top window. So how can we click the button that exists in the top window? Here's how. Okay, let's ignore this. And once the dialog pops up, let's assume it does. We can take the window.top, right? So we are in spec iframe. It's inside the its own window. But if we say window.top, then we get this large browser window. We can take the document and we can query the selector. And right here, we can look at this pop-up. So ARIA model, ARIA label model overlay box, and this particular button has title close and ARIA label close model. Okay, so let's use as a selector, ARIA label close model. Okay, and now how do we click? Well, we take this element and we wrap it. So now we can use Cypress command click. Oh, okay. So good news. It actually found something, right? It says title close visible because, you know, there is preload. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can force it. Okay. Well, notice the test actually succeeded. So let me reload the whole window so that the first model I think it just keeps adding more models if we don't close them. Okay, opens the dialog and then our code finds and wraps it and clicks force true. Let's just verify that the task can continue from this moment. Let's see if we can click on this button. It's a ref with text shop inside. So we can say, okay, after you close it, find href shop and click on it and what should happen if we click on it okay it changes the path name location path name with equal pages order okay so let's see if we can close the dialog and continue testing the website perfect so this is how one can deal with a very obnoxious pop-up that takes over the entire window. You just find the element by using window.top document query selector, wrap it so you can start a Cypress command chain, and then you can click on it. And once this then callback finishes, then our test can proceed testing the rest of the site. 